What is up Vagabond fam? My name is Rav. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. This channel is dedicated to full-time RV living and me living full-time in my vintage 1982 Dodge camper van that I named Bertha. Alright guys, so it is Friday Jan July 6th, I believe. Great thing about being a van lifer, you don't always know what day it is. But I'm pretty sure it's July the 6th. It's about five minutes after 11 a.m. It's not gonna be a typical LA day today, because usually typical LA day is about 75, 78, 82 degrees max. It's gonna be like 104 today. 104! And it is a l five minutes after 11 and it's already 97 degrees. Now, as you can see, I am in my camper and I will say that even though it's 97 degrees, it is not unbearable in here. It is warm. Uh, it's just to the point where I wouldn't mind turning my air conditioner on, but I can tell you once the temperatures hit triple digits and above, it gets pretty miserable. So I'm at my friend Noah's, but it's time for me to venture out. I don't like wearing out my welcome. And he's so gracious to let me park here for a few days at a time, use his internet, use his shower in the house. So let me show you what I'm going to be taking out of Bertha today and storing. This is what my overhead looks like. I've actually slept up here. But you can see how cluttered and junky it is. And I would just like to have some room up here because it's just way overcrowded. I need to get rid of a lot more stuff or do something. But this is going to alleviate and give me a lot of room. Because if we move this, there's a huge Pelican case right here that goes takes up this whole corner. Then there's another huge case right here that takes up that whole corner. So eliminating those two things should give me some actual room up there, hopefully. So we'll see what happens here. All right, as you can see, just removing those two cases of strobes give me my whole overhead or over half of my overhead back. I have my camera case right there. That's actually my camera case. And then I have some tripods over there, my long skateboard and my protector. She's right there. All right, guys, we actually met up and got the inverter from a guy driving a cool Sprinter van at, at that. Uh, that's a full timer, but we got the inverter and I've hooked it up. I only have six AWG or six gauge wire for my 750 watt inverter and it requires four aught wire. So I got to get the right wire for it, but I just hooked it up just to make sure it works. So far everything seems good and I got to get the right wire and get it installed properly. I've got a 350 amp fuse. I got to get that installed and then hopefully we'll have an inverter and I have to wire this direct, which I have no idea how to do that. I've watched a bunch of videos, so I haven't figured that one out. So if anybody knows how to direct wire an inverter into an existing RV electrical panel, I want all of my outlets to work in the coach, my microwave, everything to work, just like I'm hooked up to shore power. This inverter's got an auto switch on it, so when I plug into shore power, it should switch everything. So I just gotta figure out how to get it wired in. Anyway, I'm so happy I got an inverter, a pure sine wave inverter. Let's go ahead and turn it on, I'll show you, because I gotta hold it, there we go. It'll show us the voltage in just a second. And we're setting it 12.8 volts. Not too shabby. So I'm not going to lie, I am really dying to get this thing installed. But don't have everything I need. But here's my battery bank. I have three AGMs down here. 310 amp hour AGMs. I'm going to build this box out better. This is all temporary stuff. Just to get my stuff going. But I think, here's my old inverter right here. This is my 750 watt inverter. I'm going to be removing this one and I'm going to slide my 3000 watt inverter. It's going to fit right in here and then I'll move this stuff out of there. 
So it's basically going to fit right down in here. And this one will come out. Probably going to give that one to my friend Noah since he's so good to me. He needs one for his little travel trailer. If you've seen, or his little uh, toy hauler. If you've seen, I did a tour of his, uh, his toy hauler. And that'll probably go in his toy hauler. But we need to get this baby installed. I'm going to be ordering some 4 aught cables from Amazon probably. But I'm going to go ahead and try to get it temporarily installed. I'm in a Home Depot parking lot right now. So, not the best place to be installing inverters. But if I need parts, I can run in. I'll also mention that I have one of these batteries, the 110 uh, amp hour batteries, the AGMs. I actually have one that's underneath the hood. So in total, I have four. There's three in there. I've only got two hooked up right now. So I'm actually only running three. I have one, so I'll have four total. But uh, then I got to get a charge controller next and then my solar panels. And uh, then finally we'll be fully off grid. All right, it's getting a little dark. The directions call for a 10 gauge ground. It goes right here. This has to go to the chassis. So I've got this ground on here now. It's going to go down through the battery box underneath the rig. And I'm going to hook it to the chassis. What's up, beautiful people? It is day two of this vlog. Yesterday, we ended up going to Venice Beach and picking up our new 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, finally got a pure sine wave. I actually was in a Home Depot parking lot, which you saw that, and actually got it all hooked up last night. It's not hooked up like I'm gonna hook it up, direct wire it into the coach, hopefully, because it has a direct wire terminal where I can hook it directly into my breaker box. So all of my plugs, my microwave, everything should work just like when I hook into shore power. That's my goal. But I just hooked it up so I can use it to charge my phone, use it on my laptop and everything. And I just wanna say it's already so much better than the little 750 watt I had. My laptop would get kind of jinxy when I plugged it into the 750 watt modified sine wave just didn't act right and as soon as I would plug it in it the fans would start running and it would go on and off and it just it was struggling so I hooked my laptop up last night worked on it for about 30 minutes it charged my battery in my laptop so it's just like real electricity so a cheap modified sine wave to compared to a very expensive pure sine wave it's there's a lot of difference there, believe me. So anyway, but the modified sine waves has their place. If you're gonna be using it to maybe power tools or stuff like that, or something that's you know not electronic based and that's very sensitive electronics. I used my MacBook Pro with that modified sine wave and within two months, the hard drive went out. And I really do believe that it was because I was using my laptop with that modified sine wave is why my hard drive went out. Because like I said, it was just acting all jinxy. Anyway guys, yesterday was brutal. It was 108 degrees yesterday here in LA. Absolutely miserable. It's 90 degrees, 90 something here today, like 94. That's tolerable. 108 is pretty miserable. Uh, but I got the inverter installed and everything. I picked the hottest day of the year to install the inverter, but we got it installed and I'm happy. I'll show it to you guys right now. And there's the new inverter. It's kind of dark. I'll turn it on. And see what the voltage is. It'll take it a second. Boom! 12.9. <sighs> so yeah, we got the inverter all installed as you can see and today we're going to be heading to Hollywood to meet up with my buddy Noah and we're going to go be scouting location that we have to get in the shower and get on the road. <sighs> all right, we're all showered, buttoned down the hatches and we're getting on the road. He missed all the this is too. Noah that doesn't know how to drive for... Hey, Beep. hey, don't tell my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and the beautiful bride-to-be. Hi. 
And I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Maybe. Jesus Christ, is this the fox a lot? I know, right? This is the... So we are out here today at Jim Henson Studios, the original home of the Muppets, doing some location scouting. Oh, yeah. Let me give you a quick tour. Come this way. Give us a quick tour. Here. No, 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 no uh, cars here on the The 500 foot strand is supposed to be over this area. Yeah, that's going to be probably. This is Charlie Chaplin's Footprints in the Concrete Recreation. Oh. Although, if you notice, yeah. January 21st, if you come over here... 1918? It says January 12th. Oh, well. But these are Charlie Chaplin's real footprints. Well, supposedly. Supposedly. If you want to see the real, real footprints... Oh, these are the recreations. These are the recreations. Oh. Um, Chaplin's actual. Yes. Like the same size as mine. He wasn't even that tall of a guy. Yeah, <laughs> Alright guys, we made it back to Bertha. I don't know if you can tell, but I am so wetting. It is just too hot in LA. It's still man, let's see. I think it's still probably 90 degrees outside. 91 degrees outside. So I'm gonna start the generator and turn on the air conditioner for the first time in a long time. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Let's do this. There's that knob at. There it is. Oh, focus, baby. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Some cool air. We're right across the street from a Starbucks. So we should have some internet. So internet, air conditioning. I'm not complaining right now. All right, it's pretty dark in here, guys. Um, it's about eight o'clock. I usually try to stay very inconspicuous or keep it on the DL. Uh, running my generator on a public street is not something I make a habit of. But it is so freaking hot in LA and it's not the norm for LA. It's usually like 75, 80 degrees, which is perfect for van life. But this triple digit weather we're having all of a sudden, 108 yesterday, 100 today, uh, it's no way no for van life. So I'm actually running my generator. I'm going to take you guys outside and show you. We're on a public street. I'm right across from a Starbucks, but I want to show you where we are. Look at all that foliage. Yeah, we're on a very public street here, as you can see. Super public. Starbucks right there, though. Gotta love that. Beautiful sunset over there. I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful sunset. But yeah, we're right here on this public street. Very busy. This is actually Highland and Hollywood. We got the generator running right there. <laughs> And we are chilling like a villain as the sun goes down and hopefully it cools off. It's been a long day. I'm freaking spent. Yesterday was even longer. I do have my new um, pure sine wave inverter installed, 3000 watts. So stoked about that. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, guys, if you want to help me out, give me a thumbs up on this video. It helps it spread through YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. Don't forget to click that little bell. It'll give you a notification every single time I upload a new video. We'll see you next video, guys.
Peace. Thank you.